Hello, my name is Kasia Katza. Welcome on my YouTube channel. And today we talk about different languages, how they influence our personalities. I speak nine languages. To be more precise, I speak fluently five or four. It depends on time and where I am, what stage of my life. And the rest of the four I'm learning or I'm a little bit speaking or understanding. So it gives me totally nine languages. And uh, speaking and knowing nine languages, I can tell you that I noticed that sometimes I could have nine different personalities. Once I started to be more conscious about that, this thing started to dissolve and I don't feel like that. But it's more about mindfulness, maybe a bit different topic for the next video. But I really want to encourage you and maybe starting to be more conscious about how you speak in different languages and what personalities you are bringing. So in this video, I uh, tell you my personal story, my personal experience, but a little bit science behind this, a little, a little bit of neuroscience. And let's deep dive together. During the video, think about your experience with the languages. Maybe if you speak Spanish or you learn Spanish, you notice that you are more ongoing, you are more light and, and happy overall. When you speak German, you are more straightforward and direct. And maybe Japanese, you are more polite. Have you ever felt like a different personality when you speak foreign language? I did multiple times. Even more, there was a study, a research conducted for 1,000 people, and 65% of them reported that they feel a shift of personality when they switch to different language. So, when I was reading different articles preparing for this video, indeed, psychologists say that our personalities, it's not something static, it's uh, very fluid, and it could change depending on the circumstances, depending on the effort, and even depending on the language you speak. And uh, psychologists and scientists, uh, they even made a theory called multilingual hypothesis. This whole shift is explained in a different way. One of the biggest explanations behind that is a cultural context, or the science is calling cultural framework. Apparently, the culture of uh, language and the nation is really heavily influencing the personalities and our language and how we speak. An example was another research, again scientific, uh, way of checking everything. The research was done on the people who speak English and Spanish, and those people were taken in the United States and Mexico, so bilingual uh, people. And they confirmed all these uh, people in the study that when they speak English, they feel more assertive, they will feel more individualistic, they feel goal-oriented, while when they speak Spanish, they switch more to thinking about community, collectivism, and they feel overall humility and a little bit maybe shyness. So this all perfectly matches with the general cultural understanding of United States and Mexico, where all the culture in the United States is more individualistic, assertiveness, goal-oriented, while in Mexico they appreciate more community, collectivism and being more humble. That's, um, that's very true, I really agree, I'm really happy that uh, those researches were conducted. On top of that, a long time ago, I read an article which actually started to change me so much. I would say that article really made me conscious that I have different personalities when I speak different languages. And thanks to that uh, article and that knowledge, I made a conscious decision that I would like to be a one personality when I speak every language. It uh, was a long time ago, but I remember that from that moment when I knew this, I started to change this and year by year, year by year, now I would say almost in every language I talk, I feel the same and this is the same personality. But let me explain me the article and how it has changed. So in this article, again, it was more scientific-baked facts, 
it as well explains why we might change the personalities. The explanation was very simple. Our language and the language we learn, the context is heavily influencing our personality. What does it mean? If uh, my language is Polish, a native one, so it's naturally I was learning everything in this world from my family, which would be more my language of love and heart, because this is the language when the first emotions were expressed. But then let's say I have been switched to English as um, learning at the school, more like business oriented uh, school, maybe I went to the university, English then appeared in my uh, life. So then my personality might change when I speak in English, because I would be more goal oriented, business oriented, more logic and less feelings and emotions. Another very interesting idea that if you let's say, a grown-up, and then, let's say, you are falling in love with a foreigner, so you start to learn different language, and uh, with this foreigner, let's say, that's your partner, husband or wife, who uh, speaks different language and you learn, and this is like your biggest love of your li life, you might be even more warmer, softer as a personality in that foreign language than in your native language. So it's also a very interesting context. Very important part to know and to be conscious when you speak with someone who is learning language, and I really can confirm, and this is as well scientific based, that if we speak a foreign language or we learn, we are more vulnerable, we feel less confident simply just because we don't know all this fancy and smart words, we can't express us, so we might look like a little bit as a shy personality, and I really confirmed this when I was learning, uh, for example, English, and some stages of my life, I was perceived as a very shy person, <laughs> and uh, a person who is, uh, yeah, who is not speaking very much, but that was not my personality, that was just the context, culture context, that a foreign language puts you in some frame where you can't express yourself that way as you can express your, in your native language. But again, think about opportunities. In a different way, I would say if your culture is very closed and is not appreciating openness, maybe some languages would be really great for you to make this shift to being more open and ongoing. Naredimo poskus. Hola, senorita, como estas? Cocolata, por favor. <laughs> Rozmawiałam teraz po hiszpańsku, który jest język dla mnie zawsze wakacji oraz po słoweńsku. No i oczywiście język polski, jak widzicie, to jest mój język serca. Bardzo spokojny, zdecydowanie mniej emocji i wesołości, mimo że to też język jest mój ojczysty i bardzo bliski mojemu sercu, ale nie ma tej ekspresji. In English I will speak more calm and more peaceful. I would make more pauses. Again, maybe because it's my uh, not even the third or second language I learned. I learned way later English and improved. And uh, I don't feel those warm uh, emotions. I usually speak in Polish, but as I said, it changes, changes a lot with uh, my mindfulness and consciousness approaching language speaking. Z ruskim językiem miała ocień ambiwalentne odnoszenie, ponieważ to jest język dla mnie literatury, mirowej klasyki, którą ja czytałam w knigach, dlatego częściowo to ocień czuwalny dla mnie język, no jednocześnie ja go rozwijałam tylko w biznes sferze, rozwijałam swoją kompanię, także pracowałam potem w IT. I ten język przelił się u mnie i z bardziej czuwalnym, agresywnym językiem w ocień taki żółtki język, ocień związany z biznesem, z jakimiś celami i mniejsze o cieplocie, o duszy i o czuwstwach. No, potem znowu sytuacja zmieniała się, ja wstrzymałam bardzo dużo przyjaciół z Rosji i вот u mnie z ruskim językiem jakieś takie bardzo dziwne odnoszenie. That's all. I just wanted to show you a little experiment 
and uh, how I speak in different language, what is my expression of the voice, what is my expression of the emotions. Uh, let me know how you uh, have seen me and perceived. In my opinion, I still feel the differences when I speak. I feel overall differences in my body, in my voice, in the approach how do I speak. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. I really notice this as well, differences whenever I speak uh, with uh, friends from different cultures, that uh, my way of thinking, joking, even jokes could be heavily influenced on the language what I speak. My way of uh, perceiving the world overall is really heavily influenced by the culture, but I'm, uh, I'm conscious about that shift and now I have, as I shared in the beginning of this video, when I wrote this uh, article long time ago, knowing that our personalities is changing, now I always uh, try to take my core personality and of course learn about my core personality to every language I speak. So I, that's my personal goal, just to sustain and have a sustainability in the personality of who I am in different languages, in different setups, no matter where I am, what culture I am, but still, I feel this influence and I feel this is really great because it really uh, broads your mind, it really makes you such a broader personality, more resistant to many things, I would say overall stress resistant, um, challenge resistant, it makes you really creative if you speak different languages, it gives you a lot of opportunities and I really want to cover this in next uh, topics. What were my personal benefits of uh, knowing different languages? How do I see besides the regular blah 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 you need to learn languages? It's, it's improving your brain, you know, we know all of this. I'll share with you next episode what are my personal benefits, what was my story and uh, why I know nine languages and why it's, this list is not complete, <laughs> why I want to learn more, what would be the next languages, and um, I share with you as well why I learned Japanese. It's a very interesting topic. Anyway, have a good day, have a good uh, rest of your day, uh, drop me a comment. You really inspired me about different topics, including AI, abilities in helping us learning languages, so let me know what kind of language or any other topics about Colorado life you would like to know, I would be happy to record and talk with you about that. See you next episode. Bye!